Hey there, it's Asia from KajabiExperts.com. As always, in Kajabi Experts, we try to cover the latest things that were released in Kajabi. This week, they released the admins, so it's really, really important to know that you can now create admin users in your Kajabi site. That way, you would, you would need, you will not need to give your uh, user account, your user details to your virtual assistants, to your developers, or to whoever you want to access to your account. So, with this new feature, you can create admin users inside Kajabi, and they will have access to almost everything that you have, but not to the crucial stuff, like your subscription, your uh, details, so you they, will, you they won't be able to change your, your user details, your password, or they won't be able to see your sales. This is really important. So it's something really easy to do. And let's take a quick look and see how you can do the uh, how you can create new admins inside Kajabi. So here I am in my Kajabi site in the admin interface. And when I click on my user and I click on settings, I have here the new tab that it's called users. So I can go here and I can click on users and it's telling me right now I don't have any user yet so I can create new users for my account so they have access to my account and I can give them uh, the, the, the access so they, they can see just some of the parts of the admin account so I'm gonna go to new user and here I'm gonna fill out the information of the user the uh, one thing that you, well you have to take several things into account the first thing is that the email has to be unique right now so there's uh, right now there there is this limitation inside kajabi that it has to be a unique email across all the platforms so if for example you create a user for in my case adria at whatever.com no one else in the whole Kajabi platform will be able to create another user for Adria at whatever.com. That is a current limitation that the guys from Kajabi said they are going to remove. But so if you try to create a, a new user and it says that the email is already existing, you have to use a different domain. For example, if the user is using gmail.com, as, a, as an email provider, you can add plus. So, for example, Adria plus my Kajabi site at gmail.com and it will work. So, uh, this is the first consideration that you have to take into account. The second thing is that once you create an email address for an, an, a user access for that user, that user won't receive any email. So, you will need to send them an email. Hey, uh, whoever you are. I created you an admin user for my Kajabi platform and this is your access. The, here is your email address I, I registered for you and this is your password. Uh, the password can be changed so once the user logs in in, in the app.newkajabi.com he will be able to log in with, his, the, the, with the password that you sent him and he will be able to change it to something better. The last thing that I would like to mention is that you can restrict the sites that the user can access. So here you have all the list of your sites that you have in your account. And when you are creating the user, you can say, no, I want this user just to have access to this site or this or this or that site. So you can restrict the access to the different sites. So that's basically it. You create name, email, password, select the site, click save and a user will be created, an admin user will be creating. The, the admin user doesn't have access to your billing uh, settings, to your user settings, and some other uh, crucial settings that are not available. That mostly the, the user, the, the virtual assistant or your developer won't need to have access to that. So thank you for watching again this video remember to hit the like button on the video if you like it subscribe to the channel to receive the latest tutorials about kajabi experts and see you soon